and you were going to mention coach. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sykes. Uh, due to the temperature in here, the lawyers have asked for permission and I've granted it so that they don't have to wear their jackets. So if, if it, things look a little informal or we're loosening our, our top button, that's why. Thank you. The jury can, absolutely. If you need to take, the, uh, you know, take off a jacket or loosen a, a collar, looks like you look fairly comfortable already. But if you need to, please feel free. Uh, Mr. Ramon, Steve Owens, we've met before, correct? Yes. In fact, uh, I took a long deposition of you and a long statement several years ago. True? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. It encompassed about 300 pages of transcript. Do you recall that? Uh, yes. Did you once in that deposition say that Eric Christensen told you that Gwyneth took Terry out? No. Did, did, you, did you say that today? Uh, no, what I what I meant to say, I, I I get dyslexic when I get nervous. No, he he said that your buddy just took out Gwyneth. All right, I was a little confused by some of the questioning. Okay. Okay, so Christensen always said your buddy took out Gwyneth Paltrow, right? Yes. All right. Did you correct him? No. Wouldn't that be the perfect time to say? You are incorrect, sir. Uh, I, I wasn't. He he was yelling, and I I didn't didn't want to get into an argument with him. I didn't you want were, to even. You, you had. Did you finish? Yeah, I didn't want to have a conversation with him. So there's the the Deer Valley representative. True. Yes. And he's told you what he believes happened. True. Yes. And you didn't say a word? No. But seven years later, you're saying it now, right? Saying what? That Gwyneth took out your buddy, not the other way around. No, no, but he, he no, he didn't, uh, no, Gwyneth, Gwyneth, uh, uh, Terry, what, what Eric said was your buddy took out Gwyneth. That's what he said. I, I never said that, that, uh, that, that Terry took out Gwyneth. But you chose not to correct him? No. Okay, and now let's, let's turn to uh, Defense 87, uh, move to admit. Any objection? What, what is it? Yes. I did give you this binder yesterday, but it's the picture. Is the one right? Yeah, left. Left. Okay. No objection. Uh, defense exhibit 87 is received. And Peter, are you here? No, it's so we can make sure where everything is admitted. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I didn't address this yet. James, do you mind if I do that? Oh, I messed you up. I forgot to address that. Did, did you record for Terry a little video of you explaining to Terry what had happened? Yeah, Lawrence. Same day. I'm talking the same, same day. The same day as, as which day? Same day as the collision. N no, there was no video. Did you uh, see that Terry, I should keep saying Mr. Sanderson, so I mean no disrespect to Mr. Sanderson. Mr. Sanderson recorded something from his friend and eyewitness and sent it to his daughters. This is Defense 102. Uh, do you know what he's talking about there? I have no idea. You were his friend that was there and claimed to be an eyewitness, true? Yes. You're the only one. 
Yes, I don't know. I, I believe so. There wasn't another. I, I should say you were the only friend there in terms of prior knowledge of Terry Sanderson. True. Of prior knowledge. At the collision site. I mean, Gwyneth didn't know him. Christensen didn't know him. No. Moses didn't know him. Right. Yes, I was. I was the only one that knew him. So something Terry Sanderson sent to his daughters said, "I'm famous." And just so you know, I, uh, we do have an expert, a, a defense finder for the witness, and maybe you could track that down. This is uh, kind of, can you crank your neck and see what I'm talking about here? Are you able to read it from there? Yeah. Okay. In foundation for no. him to comment on what Terry said or didn't say or sent or didn't say. There's no foundation. Yeah. Like overruled, I'd like to hear the question. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? You may. So 102, this is so you don't have to crank your neck. Do you know uh, whether Terry Sanderson sent to his daughters something from you? Objection no. to foundation. Overruled? Do you know, sir? Can you repeat that one more time? Yes, I'm, it's, I'm seeing if you know anything about this document. No, so, I don't know anything about any videos. Here's what happened from my friend and eyewitness, and then something. You don't know what that is? No, I have no idea. And let's go to the top of one, Defense 102. Now, his, his daughter responds something to the effect of, I can't believe this is all on GoPro. Uh, do you know what that's referencing? I have no idea. You've never seen a GoPro, have you? I know what a GoPro is. Oh, I'm sorry. Of this exact case, of this N collision. No. All right. Let's now go to Defense 87, which is the photograph. Which has been received. So in that binder, Mr. Ramon, if you go, do you see the little stickers? There's one called D87. Unless you can personally see this yourself. <coughs> May I assist you? You may. It's kind of hard. So I'm going by these stickers. Uh, is this you? Yes, it is. And who's that? That's Joanne. And that's at the first aid station at the bottom of the hill? Um, I, 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 I'm guessing. I'm not sure. All right. I think it was Terry that produced this, so we can ask him. Uh, does that look like you skiing that day? Yes. All right. If Mr. Uh, Sanderson himself says, I took this picture. Do you dispute it? No, I, I, I kind of remember that, that photo. You were all smiles there, it looks like. True? Yeah, but I don't, uh, I don't know when that photo was taken. And uh, So I'm assuming I'm going to represent to you, and it's an admitted exhibit that it was at the first aid station. Um, so let me... Well, it's a stipulated exhibit, is it not? Yes. Admit, but not where it is. Well, well, we'll wait till Mr. Christensen, uh, excuse me, Mr. Sanderson testifies then. Okay. Do you dispute that this was taken at the bottom of the first aid station? I don't know where it was taken. Was she one of your skier friends that day? Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, 
I, I take it you felt comfortable enough leaving Terry that you could com go complete your ski day, right? You went no, when we when we left him, did we did you do went, more runs? We went we went back to the truck. But uh, jo Joanne actually did not want to did not want to ski after that, and uh, so we just we just went back to the truck. We actually had to go up the up up a couple lifts to get back to the truck because we were we were on the other side. Okay, let's start way back for a minute. Uh, do you remember some questions about someone gave us the idea that Ms. Paltrow, from the time of the collision until the time that she left, was about eight minutes. Do you remember that question on direct? No, she was, uh, she was only there for about three or four minutes. Okay, that's your testimony is that she was only there three or four minutes. Yes. And that's from collision to, so whenever you're ready, collision to, uh, and if you could highlight it and yeah, make it bigger. Your Honor. Do you remember in your deposition, it was you who said eight to 10 minutes? It was eight. Your Honor, I, I object to showing the deposition to the jury. They can read from it. But it's, it's not an exhibit. It can't be shown to the jury. Uh, all I'm doing is asking the question. Well, Honor. but still, it's Sus improper. Sustained. You. So you were the one that said she was there from collision to leaving for eight to 10 minutes. Yes or false, true or false? Well, Your Honor, uh, I, I don't want an objection, Your Honor. Uh, that, you that, don't need to decide if he objects. That's okay? true, that is All true. Right. So Mr. Quiet. Sykes, let, let's just hear what the witness's answer is. I think it's I, a proper I question. Judge Owens, but, but I, I don't think you should be interrupting the witness and dictating what he said. Here's well, it, let me let me just instruct you. Uh, on, in a cro this is a cross examination. It's not like a normal conversation between two people, and the the questioner is entitled to ask questions that call for a yes or no response. If you can't answer it with a yes or a no, just indicate that. Just say I really can't answer that oh, with I'm a sorry. yes or I no. You were talking. No. Oh, did, sorry. did you hear everything I just said? No, I thought you were okay. talking to him. I'm Fine. Sorry. So this is cross-examination. This is not a normal conversation. Okay. And the questioner is entitled to ask you questions that require you to answer with a yes or no. Or if you can't answer it with a yes or no, just tell him. I really can't answer that with a yes or no. And then he'll ask a different question. Okay. And if there's more to be asked on that topic, the other side will have an opportunity to follow up later with you. Okay. Have you previously testified under oath years ago that the time that elapsed from collision to Ms. Paltrow leaving the scene was eight to 10 minutes? True uh, or false? I can't answer that. Do you need to be reminded? We could pull up your deposition transcript. Uh, if, you, if the answer is uh, you need to be reminded, I'm happy to do that. Would you like me to do that? Yes. Okay. James, please pull that up. No, well, Your Honor, the the yeah, you, you can show him a copy of his deposition and have him look at it. Uh, so this is the physical copy of the transcript. <coughs> what, which section? I, I assumed he would have his transcript with him. You don't, I take it? No. What, what page are you reading from? And do you have a physical copy I can hand to you? Thanks. But what, what page are you reading from? James? 139. Judge, we need to approach on this. Sure. Oh.
him the the uh, Fine. yeah sure on your trial pad. Page and line reference. So we're going to grind show off the correction also, though. Your Honor, we're right, right now we're in direct. We're in the, the cross examination, so you can go ahead and show the witness. Yes. And do you recall what you wrote, what you said in there with regard to this issue so we're not taking up everyone's valuable time? There was a lot in that deposition. That question. Could you go ahead and read your transcript and um, if I believe if you if you scroll down it uh, Page 139, line 24 to 25. Are you with me? No. You're going to have to walk them through it, James. I'm not sure how you, how you scroll this it's down. just right on that page. Yes, but I believe that, uh, I believe that what you're talking about was taken out of, out of context. Let's read the question. Read. Can I read the question on yeah, page 139, yes. line 24? Are you there? Yes. From the What's, time Gwyneth yeah. stood up to the time she skied away, how much time was there? From And your answer, go ahead and read it. <laughs> Sorry. I... Yeah, and so it. Uh, I'm going to read the okay. question again. From the time Gwyneth stood up to the time she skied away, about how much time went by there? Read your answer on lines 2 3 and 4. Yeah, so it says here from the time she stood up until the. And then that's blocked out, and then it says, I don't know. Something was blocked out, and then. And then it was cut off, and it says, I keep, don't know. Keep going. Just it's, start reading the It says term. maybe 10 minutes or. And and then that's blocked off, and so it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it, line yeah. six is it eight to ten minutes? And what your an what was your answer on line eight? It, uh, Are you reading this? Can, yes, I am. What does line eight say? The three words there. I don't. Okay, it says about eight minutes. That can take place on redirect. Which has already been ruled on. Okay. Let's start from scratch here. Terry was your Facebook buddy, true? He was on Facebook. And you were friends with him? Acquaintance. So on Facebook, friends means friends. You're a friend of his on Facebook, or do we have to There's pull people that, that have a thousand different friends on Facebook. I, I, I don't even... <coughs> do we have to pull it up? We've got it. Well, you can pull it up if you like. I don't, I don't even go on Facebook. So the way this works is I ask a question. Okay. And if you say yes, we go on. And if you say no, then we pull it up. Okay. Yes, yes he's, we're, on, we're on Facebook. You're friends on Facebook. Yes. You're colorblind, true? Somewhat, yes. Well, yes. in your deposition, yes. you didn't yes. say yes. somewhat. Yes, sorry. So one rule of the court is we can't talk over each other. So I'll, I'll complete my full question, then you complete your full answer. You're colorblind. Yes. And you don't know the color, the outfit, for instance, 
Miss Paltrow was wearing that day. True? True. And you don't know the color that Terry was wearing that day. True? True. And when they collided, it looked like one person going down. Is that true? Yes. You were on the other end of this courtroom about that far, true? Yes. But you were, you're not just focused on Terry, true? I was focused on Terry, well, now could you please repeat that? Sure, you weren't just focused on Terry, right? That's not. Uh, no, that's false. You were just focused on Terry? I was, I was focused on, I was focused, yes, I was focused on Terry. Only on Terry? At the top of the hill. I'm just going to watch Terry. Is that your... No, I, I... No. Okay. You're focused on other things, too. Yes. All right. You have not been in the workforce for 10 years, true? True. You spent about half your year scuba diving and about half skiing. True? Bolts. What did you say? Traveling and scuba diving. Half. Yes. Skiing half. 